Alright, welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take a backup config of Cisco's ICE or Cisco's Identity Service Engine. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go log in, go to Administration, and go to Maintenance first. We will go to Backup and Restore, but before we do that we need to set up a repository uh, link. So when you go to Administration and then go to Maintenance, you'll see here that you are going to have to create a repository. So what you do is you click Add and then give it a name um, whatever you want so just let's just say backup and then what type of protocol are we going to using uh, or what type of protocol are we going to be using uh, for this backup so in my example I'm going to be doing FTP but you could do uh, secure FTP, TFTP, all these other types of protocols so we're going to do FTP and then just fill in the information so the server wherever your FTP program is running go ahead and put that in there so in my home lab, that is my IP address of my FTP server, and then I'm just going to put it in the default path that I set in my default server or in in my FTP server. Now I need to have credentials. Now where that comes from is from the FTP program, and the FTP program that I'm running on my Windows 2012 server is FileZilla. It's free, so you just install it, and then go to Edit, and then we're going to create a user. So this user is. Uh, that's me, Seth. That's Susa, and then you create a password, and then you click shared folders, and then where is the directory going to be? You could set the directory, and right now I just have it on the local desktop, and then you just click OK. So now that is my username, and then that's the password I'm going to be putting in here. Okay. Then you click submit, and then there you go. That's your repository list. Now, when you make a backup of your ice config click up click backup and restore and then you're basically going to choose just backup now okay so when you click that window will pop up what do you want to name this config uh, there can't be any spaces or anything like that if you fat finger something or if something doesn't take then um, you'll get an error so like let's let's do this let's do backup space config today is 15 December 2018 I'll say backup ice config. Now you can do a configuration or an operational backup. Configuration is pretty much everything, uh, including the OS. Uh, operational backup is your uh, monitoring tools and logs. And then this is the repository name that we just created called backup. And then now you have to encrypt your backup. Uh, and then there is a password requirement. So I'll, um, I'll just put a password in here and I'll show you that it won't like it. And I'll show you the password requirements. So then go ahead and click start backup and then it says invalid backup name. Backup name may only contain characters, numbers, underscores, and periods. So if I want to have spaces I need to do underscores. Okay. So now I corrected that. Now I'll show you the password requirements. So encryption key must satisfy the following criteria, uh, one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit, and can only contain an underscore and a pound sign for uh, the password. Must be at least eight characters, no more than 15. Okay, so just go ahead and create a password. Make sure you write it down so you don't forget it. Okay, and then go ahead and click Start Backup. Now this is going to take about a good 20-25 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video, but you can see here that the backup is in progress. You can't backup anything else because that button is now grayed out. So right now it's gathering everything and preparing the backup, and then once it's ready, it will push it to my file server here, uh, my FTP server. So you can see here that it is trying to connect and all that stuff. Um, so let that run and uh, I'll be back so right now it is 326 and we'll see how long it takes let's pause this alright so just uh, an update so what is it seven minutes later um, the progress bar went from 20 percent to 50 percent and it even tells you what uh, what ice is doing so right now it's backing up ice logs right now so we'll continue to let it run, and then um, 
I'll show you. Oh no! Oh, look at that! It's done. Well, that was fast. So instead of 20 minutes, it was actually seven. But let's make sure that it was in my file server. There it is. Those are the messages that it did, and there it is. So there's my backup. So now I have a backup of ICE. So if I were to upgrade something or uh, install patches or anything like that, and something went horribly wrong, I now have a backup of ICE, and I can rebuild it very, very quickly. Just make sure you do not lose the encryption key password. Okay? So uh, that is it. Um, I hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Uh, that is it.